two very important discussions that I want us to discuss in this video. Firstly, Yabo Ojo versus Naramali versus Mubad, then J Boogie. So, which do you want us to discuss first? I think let's discuss the trendy topic currently, and that is J Boogie. Since Mubad matter has been on the news, so we're going to leave that one for the last. Let's talk about J Boogie. J Boogie, you can easily say, is the junior counterpart to Bob Risky because Bob Risky was the first ever openly cross dresser in Nigeria. So he was the one that paved the way, that sacrificed years in jail, <laughs> that sacrificed time, being arrested numerous times and humiliated. And came out to say, I am a proud cross dresser, nothing will happen. And guess what? Nothing has so far happened in Nigeria. They are still living really, really well. You know, nothing they do, there no arrest, live very, very fine. Nigeria has so many other issues they should be dealing with. No cross dressers, nothing. And I agree with that. We do not have the time of cross dresser. We have so many issues to discuss. But it seems like these cross dressers are the ones using their own hands to look for trouble for themselves. So I don't know how to address this matter about J Boogie. Should we, should we be praying for J Boogie? You know what she did? Or he did? This guy traveled somewhere to undergo a surgical operation to increase her butt. Popularly known as BBL. Bob Risky has done his. It was successful. A lot of Nigerian celebrities have done theirs. They were successful. But that doesn't mean that some people never ran into trouble carrying out the procedures. Well, the money is so enough, J Boogie decided to try it out. <laughs> now, I allow. She she confess or or he confess. They say J Boogie no fee peace again. They say J Boogie no fee excrete again through the normal process. They say now every night J Boogie they scream. The picture say release online. Eh? Sorry, it's not what you are supposed to see. But at the end of the discussion, I don't know what you guys want me to say. Should I say a prayer for J Boogie? Well, according to J. Boogie's friend, this guy, this lady, or oh, this uh, man or she may, said, Covey Girl Essential, that's the handle of a doctor who worked on J. Boogie. Nothing must happen to J. Boogie. You are messing with the wrong human. Don't think because she is a trans person in Nigeria, then there are no people to fight for her because he will shock you. J. Boogie has not been able to pass urine for 24 hours. You know, be able to peace for 24 hours. Now, after surgery, and you think. It makes sense to dump her in a weird hospital and claim she has kidney issue. Ah! From BB hair, you can't go develop kidney issue. I don't wish my worst enemy to ever have a kidney issue. All those kind of issues now that they drain human beings. I don't wish it on nobody. For JBK, JBL, for BBL, and JBG for BBL. Who could develop kidney issue? What the hell is going on? Well, I wish him or her all the best. And according to Bob Risky, mocking JBG for this process, he said, Good. What goes around comes around. This boy constantly shade me when I had my surgery done. There is nothing he did, he did, he, he, there's nothing he did say. He has a natural body, blah, blah, blah. He can't go under the knife with all his edited picture. 
karma comes so fast. Next time, you all should spend money on the best doctor, not work doctor. Sign it out in peace. <laughs> so, like my first question, what do you guys want me to do? Should I say a prayer for J. Boogie? Person may go use a hand, carry with it with disturb bound. Does he does that person deserve our sympathy or our prayers? Please can you leave your comment below. Huh? So let's go over to someone who actually needs our prayers and our sympathy and our solidarities. And I'm talking about Mobad. Mobad may so continue to rest in paradise. May God forgive him sin, his sins, his trespasses, and so many other stuff he has committed on this heart. May God have mercy upon him. So meanwhile, Mubad is there in heaven or wherever God pleases. He's there somewhere. But we human beings who are alive are still very much troubling about his case. And this time, it was uh, Yabo Ojo versus Very Dark Man. That issue has passed about threesome and, there, and thereabout. Now we are talking about Yabo Ojo versus Naramali. It seems like Yabo Ojo personally have issues with Naramali years back. And Yabo Ojo is spitting out everything about it. Is it that same Sam Larry? Muni Sam Naramali is a and a mother. Abi, even my children go to his house that I was thinking is a sensible person that will be giving them to take, be putting it in their food and in their drinks. Is it that kind of person you want me to support? And you can write back for me. And in Amali and uh, Sam Larry that you are supporting, eh? <laughs> they have plenty of basic cases to answer to. Tell me, go on, mommy, to lolly, eh? To spite the drinking one, which two or three people have. Testified and they were there. The Migoshi in the case, a lot told me that he better is never on book case. It is Missy Bess never on book case. It is Mira, a dear call shake case. It is one talking me to fit me to the yes because there's no distraction. Let's take it one at it. See, firstly, I understand the Yabo just a mother and very, very pissed and they want uh, Naramali to pay for his past trespasses and also his present trespasses. All the trespasses that Naramali will commit to the nearest future. I understand that basically, guys. I simply understand where yeah, Yabo Ojo is coming as a woman, as a mother. And I will also do the same. If someone wrongs me, tempered with my own children, I'm going to directly and indirectly fight that person to the end. I understand the dislike towards Naramali. But yet again, I, I will say this. I do not think Yabo Ojo Eh, has the has the the capability. I do not think it should fit in that space of him seeking for justice for Mobad. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be Iyabo Ojo justice, not Mobad justice. Mobad is a different issue entirely from the things that he's saying now. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have the capacity. It shouldn't be in that place of seeking for justice for Mubad. Because if you clearly have a vendetta against somebody, eh, you are going to, that vendetta you have against that person will blind the real truth from your face. Because that person is already bad in your book. So you do not care if he did it or not. Because that person is bad. If you say, well, yes, he did it. If you say, he did it, he did it. We are seeking for justice for Mubad. We are not paying back for whole trespasses. Get that? There are two different things. We are seeking for justice for Mubad. We are not paying back. We are not trying to get justice to pay back for whole trespasses that Naramali have trespassed against you. Hmm? I understand. But for me, I do not think she should be handling the case anymore because she has a personal beef with Naramali. Personal beef with Naramali. So I think, I honestly think, see, she's back. She's back, madam. 
and face the Ramali through your, you said you have three, uh, three witnesses. Face him through that. Please shave back because this is a justice for Mubad, not justice for you or what Naramali did. He put uh, medicine for the spies, medicine for your children when your children went visiting him. Hmm? Shave back, please. Chill, madam. Huh? That is my own conclusion, and uh, let me know exactly how you feel about that. It's a boy, yeah, Adam Slink. I'm going to catch you next time. Do not go away. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Peace.